one generation to the other. We proceed from one collective memory to the other, and therefore we form mentalities, ideas, and identities. What, what happened in the last 217 years, which is right after the French left 1800, is that since we were given an identity which was fabricated in 1800, and again a second version in 1945, first against the French and then against the Italians, now we have a problem that we haven't found our authentic independence or no independence. It didn't matter that much. It mattered, but not that much. The mentality we have to change. But in order to change the mentality, you have to change the public space. There are many other things. Textbooks, for example, is very important to, to watch what, what you write uh, to kids. But the public space means all places that people relate to the state through them. And therefore, the monuments, the city centers, and the flag. Since we have only one big city, which is Valletta, the, the real city, and this city has about four-fifths of its monuments to British personalities. Some are governors and should stay there. We have Queen Victoria in Republic Square. It, it's, it jars. And other people, like Dublin, found the solution. They sent it as a gift to Australia, to Sydney. Can't we think of something and maybe move it to Hastings or to Victoria, Gozo, namesake? So we have to start thinking what makes our city our capital city. We can't erase or change history. That would be stupid. And we should leave an amount of British evidence in Valletta, although they changed very little. But should you have, for example, eight gigantic coat of arms around the palace in order to remember the British? Two would do.